Okay, so we're going to discuss this question. Okay, so 4,096. So before we do those questions, you know what? When I'm thinking about you giving me some questions, I'm thinking about all of you is going to give me like, oh, square root 121, square root uh, like, um, <laughs> like 49 or square root 64, something like that, okay? So this question, this class is very advanced, okay? So we're going to discuss about what is the meaning of square root first. Okay, Michael, is it okay? So after I told you what is the meaning of square root, probably you're gonna understand how to do those questions first. Okay, there we go, I think. So when we are doing square, so it's like two same thing times together, correct? Ryan, you need to be very careful, okay? So the square root is what? Square root is find out the thing inside the square root sign. When you have two of the same thing, you take out became one. For instance, square root 16. Grass equals what? Equals four times four, right? Because 16 equals four times four. So that's why when you have two same thing inside the this little square root sign, you take out one and get rid of the rest of them. Understand everybody? Okay, so let me just give you a very simple question. So if I'm doing 32 square root, so how are we gonna do it? It's four times four times two. Am I right, everybody? Yeah. Am I right? Okay, so Ryan, let me ask you, how many of them are inside is the same? Two. Only two. We only have two same fours, right? So I take yeah. out one four. But whatever, it still have a two left inside the square root sign, right? Everybody, Enzo? So how do we do it? We leave it there. Wait, what? We leave it there because in this this sign only allowed to take two same thing out at the same time. I want you to think about it, okay? Only you can only take out two same thing at the same time, and two became one. You see, two fours became one four. Two fours became one four. But whatever cannot be take out because Ryan, if you have 64, 64 equals what? 64 equals four times four times two times two, right? So that's why mm -hmm. two, four, take out one, four. Two, two became one, two. So that's why the answer is six, get it? Wait, eight or six? 64 square root equals eight. Oh, wait, oh, no, 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 no. Get it, get it, everybody get it? Okay, so I'm going yeah. to just to give you another one, okay? So for instance, nine square root equals what? And so equals three times three, right? So that's why two became one, so it became one, right? One, three, right? But how about square root 18? Um, that equals, um... oh, I, I think I know. Why? Because it equals the three times three times two, right? So two threes only became one three. Three and whatever two, left there, you know what? You three, leave it. Three, three square root two. Three square root two. Very good. Get it, everybody? Get it, everybody? So now I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you a question, okay? So it is square root 50. Everybody, can you tell me what is the answer, okay?
Okay, so now I'm going to ask Enzo. Can you tell me what is the answer? Um, five, two square. Very good. Five square root two. Everybody, did you get the same thing? Okay, so now I'm going to give you another one, okay? <clears throat> hmm. Sorry. 192 square root, everybody. You try to do it. If you cannot do it, I'm going to help you for sure, okay? Okay, so how to do this, okay? So some numbers, everybody, like for instance, 64, you can immediately look at as eight times eight, right? So 192, how to find them? Right, so can we do it? Divided by two equals 96, divided by two equals 48, divided by two equals 24, divided by two equals 12, divided by two equals six, divided by two equals three. Okay, so square root 192 actually equals what? Equals two times two times two times two times two times two times. Uh, man, I know the answer. Two correct? Correct? Yeah. Wait, is it always divided by two? No. It's always it's odd number. Yeah, it could, it could be, could be all the all the numbers. It could be like, but think about it, grass. If it is always end up with it's an even number, it could be only divided by two, right? Can be always divided by two. Understand? Okay, so how many twos are going to kick out everybody? So one, two became one, two, two, two became one, two, two, two became one, two. So whatever is inside, stay there. So it's eight square root three. Understand? Yeah. Get it, everybody? Okay, so now I'm going to give you another one, okay? So how about square root 150? Everybody, your turn.
说好了，告诉老师。Done. We carry have an equation for you. Mm -hmm. um, uh, one divided by zero square root. One second. I'm going to talk about this one later. Okay. After we did this one. So 150 divided by what first? Grass. One divided by zero square root. No, no, no. Let's do this one. Okay, grass. So 150, is it even number? Yeah. Okay, so 150, if it is an even number, so how do we do it? Divided by what first? We're going to divide by two. Very good. Very good. So 107, 150 divided by two equals what? 150 mm -hmm. divided by two is 75. So 75 divided by what? <clears throat> 75 divided by 2 equals equals um 60. Um divided 60 by 5. 75, 75 cannot be divided by 2 anymore. It's uh 75 divided by 5. 75 divided by 5 is I 12. Mm-hmm. No, equals 15. Oh. Yeah, yeah. 75 divided by 5 equals 15. Oh, 15. And mm -hmm. then um, 15 divided by 5 is 3. Mm -hmm. So 15 divided by 5 equals Yeah, I have the 8. same sort of thing like this. Okay, very good. So how we do this? 2 times 3 times 5 times 4, right, everybody? So 2 fives <clears throat> became what? 1 five. 5. So whatever stay there equals what? 6. So oh, n square root six. Yes, that's the answer. Well, okay, that's so how it yeah, is. that's the answer. So let's take about Michael's answer. Oh, my, Michael's question. Okay, Michael said one over square root zero. Square root zero, no problem, equals zero. But the thing is, Michael, can one divided by zero? Can zero became a denominator? No, no. Got it. But what about one div no what about like one divided by zero square root? Like I don't I can't draw the equation on a board. No, you cannot do that. Okay, so the zero cannot be existed in the denominator. No, what about like no, one divided really. by not really. square root? Okay. Like, Anything. Well, <laughs> Okay, everybody, so now let's take a look at this one. We just to practice a little bit more, okay? Is it okay, Ava? So 405, everybody, 405. And 490 square root.
Okay, so let's take a look at the first one. So 405, I want to ask Athene, which number you're going to try to do first? Five. Very good. So equals 81, right? So 81, we know it's nine times nine, right? So it's very easy, equals nine times nine times five. So two nine became one nine square root five. Get it, everybody? Hmm, 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 hmm. Very good. Okay, so 490. So 490, I want to ask Ryan, which number you're going to use first? Two. Equals two divided by two. So four, 490 two divided by two. 245. 245, very good. 245 divided by five. Mm -hmm. Equals what? 49. And then 49 divided by 7, which <clears throat> equals to 7. Very good. So you have what? Square root 2 times 5 times 7 times 7. Correct, Ryan? Yeah. So yeah. what is the answer? So it's 7 square root 10. Very good. Good job. Very good, Ryan. Did you get it? Okay, very good. So see? So everybody, if you're fully focused, every question is actually very easy. So now let's take a look at Athene's question, okay? So we're going to do square root 48 and a square root 4096. These two questions, this one became from, this question coming from Athene, and uh, this question come from where, who? Oh. It's Enzo, right? Okay, so two questions, four and five. So everybody, your turn. Where? Number four and number five, two questions. Oh, I see. Okay.
Okay, so 48 is pretty easy, right, Ava? So 48 divided by 2 equals 24, divided by 2 equals 12, divided by 2 equals 6, divided by 2 equals 3. So the answer is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So the answer is 2, 2 became 1, 2. 2, 2 became 1, 2. So the inside of 3, so the answer is 4 squared over 3. Get it, everybody? Okay, so let's take a look at Athene's question. Athene is very naughty, right? Give us a very big number. So 4096 divided by what? I'm going to divide it by 2 first, 2048. Divided by 2, 1024. Divided by 2, 512. Divided by 2, 256. Divided by 2, 128. Divided by 2, 64. Divided by 2, 32. Divided by 2, 16. Divided by 2, 8. Divided by 2, 4. Divided by 2, 2. So how many twos? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this one equals 2, 2, 2. How many twos are there? 12 twos are there. So I want everybody, so 2, two. It became 1. So it will be what? Through 2. 6 Through two. twos. 6 twos, right? So the answer is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So the answer is what? Four times four times four. So the answer is 60. Five. Oh, that's it. Mm -hmm. Get it, everybody? Okay, so now when we're good, we're going to move to square root two. Okay, Some, somebody give me this square root two. Square root two. So, Ava, it's already only just one, two. So, how are we going to do it? We cannot do nothing, just two. So, we don't do anything. And number two, this one's negative 16. You know, negative number cannot be square rooted, right? So, now let's move forward to the 76.4. 76.4. So for this question, okay, so when you have a decimal, so basically it's, you cannot do the square root for the decimal number right now, okay? It's hard, but we can do what? We can do 764. Let's learn 764 first, and then we move forward to the decimal. So everybody, how about you do 764 square root equals what? Okay, everybody, your turn.
So 764 divided by two, right? 300 and divided by two, not 191. So is the oh, one nine one still can be done? Yeah, I'm still trying to calculate one nine one. Okay, very good. Like, no. So one nine one is a prime number, so it's done. So the answer is two times two times one nine one. So the answer is what two and the square root one nine one. Okay, everybody understand? Okay, so now we're going to, if you understand this one, so we're going to do take a look at this one. Let me just share the screen with you. Eva, do you understand everything? Okay, so let's take a look at this one, okay? So 75 square root equals what? 75 square root, 110 square root, 90 square root. And how about if you have a negative sign in front of this one? So how do we do it? Okay, so for instance, we cannot do negative 49, right? This is wrong, but we can do negative 49 square root. So equals what? Equals negative seven, get it? Okay, so everybody, so first one, A, C, E, G. Okay, so I'm going to call Ansel. Sini. And this one, Ava. And Ryan. And this one, uh, Michael.
Yeah, when you finished, do we sign? Do we send the um answer to you? No, 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 no. You don't have to. I'm going to call your name each one of you. I'll give you last one minute, okay? Okay, so everybody, let's uh, take a look at the first one. So Enzo, could you please tell me the first question, how to do it? Um, first of all, um, I divide, um, I got I me, mean, I got five square root three. Five square root three, very good, good job. Next one, 90. Nighty, uh, Thini? Uh, 10 and square root 3. 10 square root 3? 3 square root 10 back. Oh, oops. Is it? Yeah, I said it wrong. Okay, Ava, 160 negative? Um, negative, negative, negative 4 and square root 10. Very good, negative four square root 10. Good job, Ava, very good. Ryan, 204. Uh, um, it was two to the power of 51. 
Two to the power of 51. Very good. Last but not least, Michael. Mm. Uh. Negative five. Negative five. Negative five. That's it. Yes. So let's take a look at this one. Okay. Oh, okay. Actually, uh, also, yeah, actually, never. Uh, negative twenty-five. Uh, square root five. Negative twenty-five square root five, like that. Yes. Okay, so let's take a look at this. No. One, okay, so one hundred twenty-five. We're going to divide it by what first? Uh, five. 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 So one hundred five. One hundred twenty-five divided by five equals twenty-five. Correct. Yes. Okay, so twenty-five divided by what? A uh, five. Okay, so equals five, right? Yes. Okay, so if you have this one, so it's like five divided by, so it's equals what? Equals negative five times five times five, correct, Michael? So yes. do the same thing, take out. Became what? Became five. So negative five, five and square root of five. Understand? understand them. right now you understood right yes okay so now everybody we're going to do number b number d and number h okay everybody your turn Okay, so three questions, okay, please. Okay, so I'm going to call, I give you an, another two minutes, okay? Everybody, I give you another two minutes. Would you show us
Okay, so we're going to talk about this one. Okay, square root 110 divided by two equals 55 divided by five equals 11. So this one, everybody, there's no more where you can square root it. Understand everybody? So this is the answer, just square root 110. So 300 divided by two equals 150, divided by two equals 75, divided by five equals 15, divided by three equals five. So this one equals negative two times two times five times five times three. So this one equals negative 10 square root three. Get it everybody, Ryan, did you get it right? Okay, so 470, so 470 actually divided by two equals 235, divided by five equals 47. 47 is no more, so negative 470, that's the final answer. Got it, everybody? Okay, I hope this one you get it right. Okay, so now everybody, so we're going to do one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, everybody, five questions. Okay, so I'm going to call one by one, okay? So first question, Ryan. Second question, Thaney. H belonged to Michael. And this one became to Enzo. And this one's Ava, okay? So everybody. Does that say um, 450 <clears throat> or 4.5? 
Okay. First one for like C is um six square root five. Six square root five. Good job, Ryan. Very good. Athene, square root 450. Uh, five square root 18. Five square root 18. Like that? Yeah. Okay, so let's see. 450 divided by 5. 90 divided by 5. 18 divided by 2. 9 divided by 3. 3. Correct? So it's 5. Sorry, it's square root. 5 times 5 times 3 times 3 times 2. Correct, everybody? So if you see 2, 5 came out 1, 5, and 2, 3 came out with 1, 3, so the answer should be 15 and the square root 2. Understand, Athene? Oh, Carrie. Mm hmm And uh, finish number E. Understand, everybody? So this one, number D. Okay. Um, yeah, I didn't finish it, yep. You didn't finish it? Okay, so how about Ava? You do this one. 590. Um, so 590, 590, divi 590 divided by 2 equals 295. Mm -hmm. And then um, and then 295 divided by 5 mm -hmm. equals 59. Mm -hmm. And then um, I don't think 59 can go down. Mm -hmm. So that's... So it would still be... Uh, 590 square root. Very good. Okay, next one. Negative 180. Uh, negative 6 square root 5. Okay, so 100. So negative what? Negative 6 square root 5. Very good. Good job. Okay, so last one. And so I think that's the same thing, okay? If you understand 450 square root equals what? So negative 450 equals what? Oh, I didn't finish it. No, that's the same thing, Angel. Okay. If you understand this one, is it the same? So it's negative 15 square root 2. Correct, everybody? Yep. Okay, so now this time we're going to go back to the whiteboard. So everybody, you are going to give me, each of you are going to give the classroom a question. So I think this one, this time we're going to do a better one, right? This time we can mm, better that's question. perfect for me. Yeah, that's a better question. Okay, so everybody, so two, five questions each of you are going to give me five, two questions, sorry, one question each of you. Okay, so uh, I give you two, three minutes so you find out. Okay. Do I use my mouse to write it on? No, no, no. You, you can just tell me. We can do it. You've been, oh, okay. find out the question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we come up with a question. Everybody想一道题目,好不好?过一会儿老师问你们,你们先想好,然后再告诉我。
Okay, so first one, Enzo, can you tell me the question? What is the square root of 9.62? 962. Okay, next one. Anthony? Uh, 9,216. Okay, next one, Ryan. Um, the square root of 838. Okay, number four, uh, Eva. Square root of 122. 122? 122? 122? Yeah. Okay, number five. Uh, 456. 456. Okay, so everybody here. <clears throat> OK， <咳>每个小朋友自己做一个啊。Like any or the one that you all put them, in. All of them. All of them. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So 962, I have to send it to you. Mm -hmm. No. Can I not? I'm you don't have to send it to me. You don't have to send it to me. Yay.
Okay, everybody, 962. So, Anzo, could you please tell me what is the answer? This I'll is skip that. So this is your, your your yourself's answer question, why you skip it. Okay, everybody, I'll give you another two minutes. Do it yourself, okay? Okay, Anzo, I hope you finished this one. So one, 962 divided by what first? I uh, divide by uh, two. So A plus what? What A1, right? So you're gonna find out for A1, it's almost like there's no more thing. So everybody, you, you find out like all your questions not very good, right? Correct? The question is not very good. Okay, so um, you know what? I always talk to you after, including hmm? mine. I only solved three, including mine. <sighs> yeah, so this one's solvable. So two and 104. That's uh, I didn't okay. just. Yeah, A3, A divided by two, so 419. So these are all the questions not really good, okay? So um, today your homework will be like, including one part of them is, um, you're going to give me some questions yourself, okay? Ryan? And you try to not to give yourself a very hard time, right? So try to do some good questions. And uh, so I'm going to, of course, give you some questions and find out the square root of all the following numbers. And um, um, yeah, but you're going to give me the question as well. Get it? Yes. Okay, so that's it for today's homework thing. So today's homework will be one part. I give you the question and one part, you're going to give me 10 questions with the square root. You're going to give me the question. Is that okay? Okay, okay. So that's it for today's class. We're gonna see each other next week. Okay, bye-bye.